Hey friends, you know music is pretty uh, therapeutic. It's really good for your mood. Uh, it kind of helps us deal with depression and anxiety. It can decrease pain. So uh, it can help you sleep. So uh, I recommend you play guitar as much as you can if you want to feel good. I got a little idea for a little music therapy here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna work on some rhythm. I'm gonna go from a G to a D, and I'm gonna use my metronome for some slow tempos. You can play along, so grab your guitar. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna go from G to D, and the strum I wanna do is down, down on the G, and the D, I want to go down, up, down, up. So it's going to sound like down, down, and we'll switch down, up, down, up. The trick, so we're going to learn something too, besides have a little bit of fun and play together, is you're going to leave the ring finger in place when you switch from G to D. So you kind of, they call it pivot. Pivot off of the ring finger or anchor the ring finger. Those are some good terms, you know. The more you teach, the more you learn some little terms you can use and throw out there. Pretend that you're real smart, but uh, let me strum it one time. So again, it's G down, down. Think about it first, then switch down, up, down, up. Let's do it again. You're gonna pivot back to G, down, down, swing it over to D, down, up, down, up. All right, so we're moving kind of slow. We're gonna speed up a little bit. I'm gonna just kind of drag this out. Here's 50 beats a minute. Good old metronome. All right, so you kind of internalize that uh, tempo. One, two, red, D, go, we'll go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and hold your pick kind of soft. Don't squeeze your pick. Hold it light. Let your hand just drop. Don't shove your pick through the strings. Just keep it kind of light. One, two, three, and four, and... Yeah, let your pick just fall through the strings. Don't shove it. Just let it kind of... Kind of stagger it. G. Yeah, now let's jump it on up to 60 and see what that's like. One, two, same thing. Just a little faster. Down, up, down. Good to play in time and steady. One, two, three, and four, and so we can play together here. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, one last G. Cool. Let's jump it up to 70 and see what that's like. So remember, keep your strumming hand really loose and let this, you know, don't shove it through hard. Don't get a spiky. You should be able to get a light 
sound out of this. But go for a light sound. You can always hit it harder. But pulling back and getting a thorough, make sure you're hearing all six strings with equal kind of pressure and volume. You don't want three strings ringing out and three strings half dead. You want all six strings represented. All right, here comes 70. Two, ready, go. So you should be pretty relaxed, you know. Remember to keep breathing, you know, but sometimes you, sometimes we get a little tense and our arms might tighten up or we might breathe really short or hold your breath. Keep breathing. It's kind of almost yoga here. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's 80. Two, ready, go. Ninety. One, two, ready, go. Yeah, metronome is your friend. Two, three. So you should be able to play stuff real slow and a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. Sometimes you gotta play, sometimes people have a hard time slowing down. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and three, and four, and See how boring it is? I mean, I just stay with really simple stuff and beat it into the ground. That's how I train constantly. I should probably play harder stuff, but really a lot of cool stuff is pretty simple. All right, here comes 100 beats a minute. One, two, ready, go. Sounds a little more like a song. high pitch. Music therapy, mixing uh, chords, strumming, rhythm. 
rhythm, metronome, repetition. You can even move to it. Three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one. So my body becomes the metronome. Here comes 120, 2, ready, go. Trying to keep it light, just because it's speeding up doesn't mean you gotta like hit it harder. So keep it light. Thirty, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Copyright strike for this, or copyright notice. We'll see. Yeah, let's do 140. Here it comes two. Ready, go. Keep it light. Don't tense up. mean to box you in the corner but let's see what 150 feels like one two ready go couldn't even stop I got going it got going pretty fast so that started at 50 ended at 150 which you know the 50 might have seemed ridiculous and the 150 might have felt impossible so that's a good challenge for it for us to be flexible with our tempos don't just lock into one speed you know I could change the tempo to your speed but that's not really how the world works so you have to adapt to what the song is so you know, if so, let's say you're playing in a band and the band leader says, yeah, we're dropping it down to 40 beats a minute. You're like, I can't do that. Well, you better be able to because that's what you're asked to do. And, uh, you know, that's really how I function. As I, If somebody asks me to do something, I'll do it if, if I can. But usually I find a way to uh, fulfill the request. Uh, but it's just good practice for the way we feel. And that's what this video is about. So work on your simple strumming stuff. Make sure you can keep a steady beat. Try some other chord progressions. Make up your own exercises. That's what I do. I just invent stuff. But you could tell this was from a song, right? Okay. Hopefully you recognize the song. All right. I'm going to get out of here. I've got a, a private lesson coming up. A uh, big day of teaching. I teach Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's when I play gigs. So it works out. But I'm kind of, I used to teach seven days a week, so this is nice to, you know, have somewhat of a 
schedule that is a little more manageable. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, and please subscribe. I appreciate that greatly. Take care.